Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Qi Long Wang from Dalian University of Technology. I'm honored to introduce our work, J2D Night, and its application to visual recognition. Professor Pei Hua Li is my advisor, and Professor Li Zhang is our collaborator. As we know, from the night of five years to this night of more than 100 years, seeing architectures tend to be deeper and better. Of course, they also become more accurate. However, these networks are only composed of traditional convolution, relu, pooling, and short connection operations. Recently, researchers proposed to plug some trimble structure layers into deep sea architecture. However, here, the output of the last convolutional layer are reshaped to 2D feature map with discussing uh, lo lo location information. And such layers are used to model the uh, used to model these features with the classical methods, such as coherence metrics, uh, mean map embedding, and VLAD coding. Among them, bilinear CN brings about 80% genes over original VGBI deep model on fine grid visual classification. Uh, Net VLAD improves as night over 15% on place recognition. And the DMMs with Google Night outperforms original model on large scale using categorization problem, problem. So we can see that integration such streamball structure layers into deep scene, uh, deep scene architecture can achieve significant improvements on many challenging vision tasks. More importantly, we also know parametric probability distribution model has the powerful capability and the good property to model the st statistics of features. The value of the parametric probability distribution model has uh, Gaussian distribution, Gaussian mixture model, and uh, Gaussian Laplace model. Among them, Gaussian, di Gaussian, distri Gaussian distribution has been important to show promising model performance and get a very competitive with or better than the traditional coding methods. Uh, meanwhile, Gaussian distribution is also of high computational efficiency because of its closed form solution of parameter estimation. So one idea is that naturally is that can we model the output of last conventional layer with the global Gaussian distribution and embed it into deep scene architecture in end to end form. Here, X is 2D feature map, mu and the sigma are means and the coherence matrix of feature map. To this end, we proposed a uh, trimble global Gaussian embedding layer for modeling and convolutional feature with the global Gaussian as the representation. And the result network we call the global Gaussian distribution embedding network. To our best knowledge, it is the first attempt to plug a parametric probability, probability distribution into deep scene in end to end form. To implement our proposed network, the primary question is how can we construct our global Gaussian embedding layer? Obviously, we need to give the explicit form of Gaussian for forward and backward propagations. And such expression doesn't need to consider the special structures of Gaussian distribution, but also it must be differentable for efficient back, back propagation. For this purpose, we first give an explicit form of Gaussian. The pairwise work also shows the specific Gaussian is manifold. Our recent work disclosed that the specific Gaussian is not only a manifold, but also it can, it, it can equip with a Lie group structure. By using Lie group theory, we first map a Gaussian into a unique positive upper triangular matrix A through a Chorzycki decomposition on cross matrix. After that, we map a matrix A into a SBD matrix uh, with a li unique life polar decomposition on matrix A. Through a series mappings, a Gaussian can be uniquely embedded into a square rooted SVD matrix. Different from uh, existing Gaussian embedding methods, our form can consider both geometric and algebraic structures of a Gaussian. So we can compute a Gaussian with a square rooted SPD matrix Y, which is composable mean and coherence matrix of Gaussian. By using this embedding method, we can construct our global Gaussian embedding layer with two sub layers. The first one is matrix, matrix partition sublayers. With it, we can write the Gaussian embedding matrix Y as a function of convolutional features X. And the second one is due to the square root of matrix Y with SVD. 
With such processing, we can realize the forward propagation for our network. Next, we will accumulate the back propagation for our Gaussian embedding, net Gaussian embedding layer. For this purpose, our final goal is to compute the gradient of F the loss Fz with respect to the convolutional feature X. And then in the first step, we need to compute the gradient of Fz with respect to Gaussian embedding matrix Y. To compute the gradient of Fz with respect to X, we need to deploy the chain rule. However, the chain rule in case of a matrix is quite, a diff quite a different from the exi existing method for vector. So here, we adopt the metric propagation, back propagation rule proposed in below paper. And we have the SVD of matrix Y, where U and lambda are engine vectors and engine values of matrix Y. So we can, we can compute the relationship between dy and du d lambda. By using above chain rule and such relationship, we can calculate the gradient of Fz with respect to y with the following equation. However, in this equation, the gradients of Fz with respect to u and lambda are unknown. To compute them, we adopt the metric propagation rule again, and we have z is equal to square root square root of matrix Y. So then we can compute the relationship between DUZ and DU D lambda. With them, we can calculate the gradients of FZ with the U and the lambda. Now, we can compute the gradient of FZ with respect to Y. Given it, our final goal is to, is to compute the gradient of FZ with respect to X. And we have the relationship between Y and X. According to the following chain rule, we can, we, can, we can obtain the gradient of Fz with respect to x. By using this formula, the back propagation for our global Gaussian embedding layer can be achieved. Now, as described about, we can implement our J2D unit uh, with the introduced Gaussian embedding form and the proposed structure back propagation method. Meanwhile, it's easy to see our proposed Gaussian embedding layer is parameter-free. We first conduct experiments on a subset of a COCO benchmark, which include uh, about 600,000 training instances and 219,000 validations from 80 classes. This subset is collected by DPO2P. By using XNet as a baseline CNN model, we train our J2D unit by using the same parameter setting with DPO2P. And we compare with different counterparts. At least in this table, we can see that our method outperforms DPO2P at the different configurations. Meanwhile, our J2D unit uh, also perform, perf uh, performs, performs much better than DMMs and baseline S night with the same setting. Secondly, we evaluate our method, our method on challenging fine grid visual classification with the three widely used uh, benchmark, include birds, aircraft, and car. In this part, we evaluate. Sorry, in this part, we employ VGG by Deep 16 as the baseline CN model, and we don't use bounding box part and annotations. We adopt the same parameter setting with bilinear CNN and compare with a family of counterpart methods. In this table, we can see that our network gets the best result on our benchmark and outperforms its counterparts, NetIV, NetIV Lite, and bilinear CNN by a margin. We also compare with various state-of-the-art methods. By using a single CNN model without using bounding box part annotations and additional training data, our method can achieve the best result on birds and aircraft data size and get a very competitive result on car. In the final part of our experiments, we compare with different training methods for our network, including pre-trained model without any additional training or fine-tuning model and end-to-end -end learning manner. Results show the end-to-end -end learning manner is very important for our network. Meanwhile, we evaluate different Gaussian embedding methods with the same setting on both data sites. We can see that 
our method outperformed other existing Gaussian embedding form with better margin. In summary, when we make the first attempt to plug a global Gaussian distribution into deep scene architecture in an end to end learning manner, to this end, we employ a Gaussian embedding form based on Lie group theory and develop a structured back propagation method. In future, we will adopt our method to more scene architectures and other computer vision applications. Please come to our poster for more details. Thanks for your attention.